and also there are variations for each each kesagatame. As soon as you move your hand or you twist your body, it's a variation. It's a kuzure. Key control in yokoshio katame, right side four corners hold is here, control of the head and neck and therefore the shoulder, and with your chest. This is kind of secondary, and it's hard for me to get on a big guy, really any guy. Very important, when you cradle the leg, you're not trying to work against his thigh. Because you need thighs to, are strong. No way. You're going to come across his hip. Okay, you need to be down really low. That's blocked. Right. <coughs> come across his hip. Okay? Because otherwise you're actually doing yourself a disservice to take the leg. Okay? Here so it's blocked. I can't go anywhere. So you have um, a couple directions where you're vulnerable. One is he can turn into you. When he turns into you, you need to counter that here. You pull okay. up and force his head back. Okay? So you need to be pretty deep. And he turns in, you pull up. When he turns away, you press down with your chest. All you're trying to do is counter him. You're not actually trying to hold the guy to the mat. You're trying to maintain your relative position. You can move with him. If I'm right. going, you have to. He coming. Right. I'm still a psychomic, and he's right. not using so right. much energy. To maintain your relative position, you have to <clears throat> make sure that you don't open any space. So your hips need to stay down, but you can't start to slide off too much because then he's going to turn into Remember, you. Remember, any line. space you gain is good for me. If I get into the space. I'm going to work. I got problems. So you need to maintain your relative position and you also need to make sure you don't get too high and overcompensate. If he turns into you hard and you come too high, now I'm finished. So the point here is to stay... You have to feel the balance. You have to feel where you're strong, right. where you're good to, to stay. So you, you want to maintain your <laughs> position, move with him, and counter his motion, but not overcompensate. So it turns in, you got this. Turns out, you push down, and if he turns, rotates around, you go with him. You go with him. And you just maintain your relative position. Okay? So that's regular. The only difference between the kuzure, the variation you normally show. Kuzure means variation. So whatever you change, right. it's a kuzure. Is you don't need to take the leg. You can work with the arm here and also post. So really the main control here. And I generally don't take a leg because I'm not a strong guy and it's hard for me to hold or to even get it. It's a short form. But here I feel pretty comfortable. Again, if he turns in, I come up. If he turns out, I press down and I have this to post in case I get a little bit high. So now I can actually be a little bit more bold when he turns in. I can, if I have to, I can come up a little higher safely. Don't come too high. You need to be ready to come back down. He turns in. If I come up a little, because I have to, this is really strong turn in hard. Okay, I need to be ready when he goes the other way. Come right back in. Because usually that's how you right. fight the mewaza. Right. Quick, sudden move, fast. So I'm turning in. Right, now he's I, 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 I wonder his reaction, I'm right. gonna switch. And I can use this arm against the shoulder or to post, but this is the control. Here, here. Okay. The main thing for most of the, the mewaza, for most of the pins, Try to lock the neck. Do not give me or give anybody else the bridge. Right. Especially the wrestlers are strong and they gotta get out. You don't wanna give me bridge. Bridge mean I have power in my neck. I start moving. I start now sliding. Space. My hips so come try. Up. Say like say he can. He blocked my neck. I can't bridge. I not even touch the mat. Block the neck. Hold him tight. Okay. So work with your uke. Set the pin and have them begin to try and move and find where you're weak. Okay, tell Tori what they need to do to counter you. You should help them make it so that the pin is not something that you feel you can open up. Okay. Working with that, and then we're gonna have 10-15 seconds where you're gonna hold it, and the other one gonna try to escape. For now, just try to learn the, the right grip feel. Take the grip and ask you, okay, you think you can get out of here? You think I'm tight enough? You think I'm close enough? Because he feels if he can get out or not. So 